Welcome to this newest episode of Rewind, the action-packed drag racing highlight series where we check out record-breaking passes, close side-by-side -side races, funny moments, and everything else around drag racing from past events. In this episode, we're going to be checking out the factory supercars class in the NMCA from 2017 to 2019. Now, if you're not familiar with this class, it is extremely competitive, it's gaining popularity, and it's a really cool watch. To give you a little bit of background on it, Detroit's big three manufacturers, that's Dodge, Ford, and Chevy, actually manufactured race-specific cars directly from the manufacturers themselves, okay? So they're like, hey, we should make some really fast cars that people can buy from us. You know, I'm, and when I'm talking fast, I'm talking something above a Hellcat, above a Demon, above a GT500. These cars are specific for quarter mile drag racing. They have TH400 transmissions in them. They're all supercharged, at least all of the newer ones are supercharged. Some of the older factory supercars are naturally aspirated, but they've kind of phased that out because the supercharger just makes so much more power. And because all of the Detroit's big three manufacturers are competing head to head and making really competitive cars, the splits between the number one qualifier and the number 10 qualifier are usually maybe one or two tenths. So it's a really good watch. I suggest you check it out. It's a really cool class. And we're going to be checking out highlights from the 2017 to 2019 season in NMCA factory supercars. Now, they got the idea of, and they kind of changed it a little bit, but it's similar to the NHRA's factory stock showdown class that had a big following and a lot of people enjoyed that. And so the NMCA said, hey, we want to make a class like that for our racers, and that's exactly what they did, and it's been gaining popularity nonstop ever since they introduced it. So, let's move right on to close side-by-side -side final races. I have a couple different things that I want to talk about today. Number one is going to be close side-by-side -side finals. Number two are wheel stands and crashes, and the last one is going to be record-breaking passes from the class. So, like I said, let's start off with close side-by-side -side final races. Coming up first in the close side-by-side -side final races, we're heading to NMRA NMCA All-Star Nationals in 2018. And remember, this is the final race for all of the money. The drivers involved are Jeff Turk and Chuck Watson. Jeff Turk, of course, is in his Drag Pack Challenger, and Chuck Watson is in his Cobra Jet Mustang. Now, this is a great side-by-side -side final. Who's going to come out on top? Let's check out the clip and find out. Side by side, seven second pass here in Holly EFI Factory Supercar. It's certainly a possibility. These guys have the hot rods to do it. We've got the track to do it. And we've got the weather conditions to do it. Are the stars going to align here at Atlanta Dragway to make that happen? Chuck Watson staged. Jeff Turk is staged. We've got a tight one here. They are side by side, top end, win line, Jeff Turk 799 with the four, he does it again. Moving on to the next close side by side final round, we're heading to the NMCA World Street Finals in 2019. The drivers in this one are Bill Skillman and Randy Eakins. Great side by side matchup for the final here guys. Like I said, usually the splits between all these racers are really, really close, like within a tenth. So this is going to be a really good race. Let's show the clip and see exactly what went down. Who's going to take it home here? The final round of Holly and Five Factory Supercars. They put it in the bags. Ah, look at Skillman. It's going to be Skillman, it looks like. Top pin charge, 795 meters, 74 miles an hour. Skillman takes it, man. Your world champ. Good job to that crew as they take it here in the world finals, man. That's how you get it done, 2019 style. Moving on to our next close side-by-side -side final race, we're at the NMRA NMCA Super Bowl of 2019. The drivers are Bill Skillman versus Terry Monroe. Now, Bill Skillman is in his Cobra Jet Mustang, and Terry Monroe is in his Copo Camaro. I don't know who's going to come out on top. Let's take a look at the clip and see exactly what happened. Puts it in the mirrors. Mustang's in the left-hand side. Skillman, 7.98 and 1.71 for the big pre right there. Terry Monroe, 0.53 reaction time. Now let's check out the final side-by-side -side race at the NMCA All-American Nationals in 2019. The drivers include Randy Eakins versus Chris Hallbrook, and they're both in Cobra Jet Mustangs. Now, this is an extremely close final round, and the clip shows exactly how competitive the class really is. Let's take a look. In the red car. 
Chris Holbrook, factory supercar champion. Two thou apart on reaction time. Who's got the better race car? What a race down to the stripe. 789 beats 790 by 8,000. All right, our next segment in this episode is wheel stands and crashes. Okay, the first one is a massive wheel stand at the NMCA All-American Nationals in 2017. The driver is David Barton. He has a single, and he decides to leave his Copo Camaro on kill and packs the tires for about 300 feet. Check out the action and see how bad this Camaro is. Crew Street competitors, please get back and in your race cars. And here comes David Barton. Barton won. Wow, Barton drives a wheel stand three. 300 feet down the drag strip, 134 in the eighth mile, and David Barton, 8-11-4, 165.4 miles an hour, and this thing has turned onto a... Luckily, he brought the car down safely and actually made a pretty decent pass. It was a fairly smooth transition down. I've seen cars that just flip over backward and forward when they bring a big wheel stand down, so, you know, really good driving skills there. Now let's move on to the next big wheelie, and this one has a little bit of a crash at the end, but don't worry, nobody was hurt. He escaped unharmed, so that's always good to hear. This is at the NMRA NMCA Super Bowl 2018. The drivers are Joe Welch, which is currently the number one qualifier, and he's actually on a single pass, so he's not competing against anybody. He's in his drag pack challenger, and Welch, let's just say he goes for a bit of a ride on this one. is in the wall. Everybody stay where you're at. Please stay where you're at. Once again, unfortunately, number one qualifier goes out. All right, let's move on to the next segment in this episode, and it is record-breaking passes. First off is Chuck Watson's record-breaking pass at the NMCA All-American Nationals from 2017. Now, the drivers, this is something that's really interesting, is Chuck Watson Sr. versus Chuck Watson Jr. So father and son going head-to-head, -head, both in Cobra Jet Mustangs. Now, it's going to be really interesting to see who comes out on top in this one just because it is a family race. Let's see and find out. Father and son, how cool is this? It's great, and you know, Chuck Jr. in the black car has been picking the car up every run, but I tell you, the man to watch, don't take your eyes off that blue car. Watch that car leave. So Chuck Watson, the patriarch of the family, the leader of Watson Racing, and here we go. Chuck goes 120 to 60 feet, let's watch that eight mile speed, 133 miles an hour, and Chuck Watson, 814 with a two at 165.72. Brian, I think that seals a new NMRA national record. It absolutely does. That is the quickest pass we have had in the Holly EFI factory supercar category. And Chuck Watson rockets to the top of the field. In this next clip, we're going to check out a record-breaking pass. And this is actually the first factory supercar to break into the seven-second barrier. All right, now this is coming from the Muscle Car Mayhem of 2018, and the drivers are Jeff Turk in his Drag Pack Challenger versus Ted Hughes in his Copo Camaro. I don't want to ruin anything. Obviously, we already know it's going to be a record-breaking pass. Let's check it out, and you'll probably notice by the voice of the announcer that this is a really, really big deal. Try to level the performance barrier against Ted Hughes. Jeff Turk, 120 on the front half. Turk gets to the eighth mile, 512, he may do it. Jeff Turk, he goes 7 to 8, 8 6. There it is, 170.1 miles an hour. Jeff Turk has just run the first seven second elapsed time in the history of a factory built drag racing machine. The record has been broken. All right, let's check out the last two clips of this week's episode. Number one is a record-setting pass in Muscle Car Mayhem 2020. Now, the drivers include Trip Carter and Bill Skillman. One is in a new generation Cobra Jet versus an old generation Cobra Jet. Now, the record is set in this clip, and I believe that the car that does it is the first one into the 760s. Let's check it out. Oh boy, problems for Skillman. There is Trip Carter. 118 short time, top bed. 769, there it is. New track record. Trip Carter goes into the 60s, takes the track record away. 
Now the last clip of this week's episode is another record setting pass in the class at the same event, Muscle Car Mayhem 2020. The drivers are Chris Hallbrook and Paul Roderick and both are driving Ford Cobra Jet Mustangs. Now, like I said in the last clip, the record was previously set by Trip Carter, but it was reset in this next clip. Let's check it out. Problems there for Paul Ryder Jr. Chris Holbrook on the right side. Seven sixty-six for Holbrook takes away the track record. And that does it for this episode of Rewind. Thank you so much for tuning in and checking out the episode. We appreciate it more than you know. And coming up, we have new episodes of Rewind obviously dropping. And then make sure to stay tuned right here on Speed Video for all of our other new shows coming out weekly. And like I said, we really appreciate you watching. Give us your feedback. Let us know what you want to see. And we will see you in the next episode of Rewind. Rewind.